We start today with breaking news out of Olivehurst. That's where the Yuba County Sheriff's Office says a dead body was found on a school campus. Fox 40's Monica DeAnda is live at Lindhurst High with the latest on this troubling find. And Monica, do we know how this person ended up there or who they are? Sincerely, good morning. Still a lot of unknowns, a lot of questions, but what we can tell you, which is confirmed by the Yuba County Sheriff's Office, is that a 14-year-old student here at Lindhurst High School has died by suicide, and that is obviously something very traumatic for this community who is now in mourning and grieving the loss of this young girl. We know that the Sheriff's Office received a call from a staff member here at the school around 6.55 this morning, and that's when they responded and they found this student near the D building. So this is, you know, something very sensitive. This student has family, friends, loved ones, people that are hurting right now. And the Yuba County Sheriff also told us it's possible that some students who were on campus at the time may have seen this teen. Take a listen. We do believe that there were some students on campus who may have witnessed um, the scene. And we're trying to reach out to those, identify those students, reach out to them for statements, but also for support should they need that. Uh, the trauma that we are facing here today for the families, our students, our staff, is not just at Lynnhurst, it's also at the schools in Johnson Park Elementary and at Yuba Gardens Middle School where the child attended. The superintendent telling us this is a traumatic day for the entire community. They are all grieving the loss. They send their condolences to the family and grief counselors are available here as well as at the elementary school and middle school where this child attended. And these uh, services, the counseling services are available to anyone. You don't have to be a student here. You don't have to be a staff member at this certain campus. It could be anyone in this community who is in need and wants to talk to somebody can do so. You just have to show up here to this high school and go to the wellness center and they will have that support available. Now, a lot of questions. Again, this investigation, the sheriff telling us is still very active, so we still have more to learn. But uh, if anybody is in need of support or is feeling like they need some help, we do want to just remind you that there is a 988 number that you can call 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and that is a suicide crisis hotline. Reporting live in Oliver Hurst, covering local news that matters, Monica Deanda, Fox 40 News. Monica, thank you so much. All of that support critical, really, right now.